Want the best way to develop professional Python web projects? Endpoints in PyCharm is a powerful, innovative approach to API development. Let's take a look. Python is super popular for doing web APIs. Lots of choices, Django, Flask, Fast API. But as your project gets bigger, there's a lot to manage. Views are over here, routes over there, separate tools to work with your JSON endpoints, I wish there was something that brought it all together. IDEs are great at tying together your code. What if they could do the same for your APIs? Welcome to Endpoints, a system in JetBrains IDEs for working productively with your APIs. Jump between parts in your endpoint, browse a list of endpoints, and issue requests. All in one powerful, polished interface. Endpoints is a rethink of web API development. We're really proud of it. Let's see its usage in the editor, the tool window, and our HTTP client. You're writing a view, for example, in Django. You've long been able to use a gutter icon to get to the template, then back. But what about the route? PyCharm endpoints now provide an inlay to jump to the route definition. It's the same across all web frameworks. Same behavior in Fast API from a view to a route. Endpoints have more about them than just the route. The globe icon stitches these together. For example, go to the parent context and its parent context, or copy the URL for the path to the clipboard. Want to jump to an endpoint without the mouse? Search Everywhere now has an Endpoints tab, along with a keyboard shortcut. It's nice having endpoint activity right by your cursor. In large projects, you want a bird's eye view. For that, we have the endpoints tool. To get started, click on the endpoints tool window. As another choice, use the menu entry from the gutter icon to open the window on a specific endpoint. The endpoints tool lists all the routes. For big projects, you can filter by application, type, and framework. Blueprints and sub apps make it nice to focus on work in isolation. Same thing with filtering endpoints. Each endpoint shows information, what HTTP methods, and the file with the route. Select an entry and you'll see a sub window with options. Double click to visit the definition. Right click to see usages. Use the HTTP tab and fill in a parameter to issue an HTTP request. The Open API tab shows more information about the endpoint. PyCharm endpoints have special support for Django REST framework. Endpoints are listed from the auto-generated views. If you use view sets, all handlers with the action decorator will also be listed. Running endpoints doesn't have to mean a trip to another tool. To run HTTP requests, developers often have to use another GUI tool or a command line program. Want to stay in the IDE? HTTP files are a hidden gem. Run requests, inspect results, all in the services tool without needing a browser. This is a really productive way to work. PyCharm's HTTP file has a million features, even more with endpoints. For example, paths can have auto-completion. Want to see the route definition? Like everything else in the IDE, command click on the usage to get to the route definition. I'm a big fan of PyCharm endpoints. It's a fresh take on productive development for professional full stack projects. Give it a try. Let us know what you think and what we should do next.